given how rapidly AI is innovating and if scaling continues as we expect, what does defence software look like in five years? How agentic will it be and how do you keep human in the loop? So I think the, the question of how you keep humans in the loop is going to be a policy question. Uh, technologically, unfortunately, I think we're moving in a direction where much of the process can be automated. So lots of this could be done by agents. And so the big question that we're all going to have to confront is where do you insist on having a human in the loop? And I think in the West, we're very clear about the importance of maintaining that. My concern is that adversaries may not be. What specifically does Palantir put in place to ensure that there aren't disastrous errors in the deployment of this software? What mitigating factors are built in? Well, you could think of our software as the mitigating factor. So we are the harness in which you run the model so that you can do that transparently, securely and auditably. And the audit is the key thing. It means you can know and you can go back in time to check when a decision was taken, what did the decision maker know at that moment in time? What was the context in which they made the decision and so forth? And in the end, that's the safeguard. There's a human in the loop taking the decision, but the software captures everything that the human knew at the time. And so, for example, if it's a, a question of collateral damage, was that something that was available as information to the decision maker at the moment when they took that step?